Ah, the crusty crab. Home of the Krabby Patty, with its top secret formula known only to those brave enough and intelligent enough to comprehend its culinary complexity. Look, Mr. Krabs, I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Quit fooling around, SpongeBob, we've got customers! But wherever there's a secret recipe, there is someone who wants to steal it. <laughs> Ouch! And now for the final touch. Perfect! With this disguise, that formula is as good as mine. <laughs> SpongeBob SquarePants! Why, yes. Yes, I am. Then you've just won one million dollars! <gasps> you just have to answer one question. What is the Krabby Patty secret formula? <gasps> yes? <gasps> yes? <gasps> yes! The Krabby Patty formula is the sole property of the Krusty Krab and is only to be discussed in part or in whole with its creator, Mr. Krabs. Duplication of this formula is punishable by law. Restrictions apply. Results may vary. Ah, that's it! You better cough up that secret formula or else... Plankton! Krabs! Plankton! Krabs! SpongeBob! <laughs> You can't do this to me, Krabs! <gasps> I went to college! Ouch! Ow, my arm or something! In the case of Scissors versus the city, the court rules in favor of Scissors. Yes! Ow, my hand or something! In the case of Scissors versus his lawyer, the court rules in favor of Scissors. Yes! Ow, my ears are something. In the case of Scissors versus... Me? You made money by faking injuries and suing people? That's terrible. Oh, Moro Rock doesn't like making his money through fraudulent lawsuits. Broke or not, you still have to pay for your pizza. Maybe it's time you stop being a bum and get a job. Oh, judgmental paper calls me a bum just because I fit the definition of one. Why don't you ever want to find work? Is it because you're not really good at anything? Hey! Yeah, Scissors is good at a lot of things. Like, uh, sunglasses. Forget you guys. I'll find work when I want to. Well, until you do, you can't have pizza with us. What?! In fact, every time you walk through that door, Rock and I will be eating pizza until it motivates you to get a job. Awesome. Duh, fine. You just watch. I'll have pizza money in no time. Ow, my leg are... In the case of scissors versus paper and his dangerous coffee table, the court rules in favor of paper. Dang it! All right, I'll get a job. No name. Let me out! What are you gonna do with me? Hey, you! What smells like big business? Hey, I don't remember that factory. Huh? What kind of monster is responsible for this horror? That's it, boys. Keep that gelatinous gold flowing. Mr. Krabs? No. Now I know why you brought me here. But what can we do? This isn't what it looks like, SpongeBob. Why, uh, we're just, uh, 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 having a little tea party. Oh boy, a tea party. You tricked me, Mr. Krabs. I wouldn't have collected all those jellyfish had I known that this was their fate. This isn't right. Jellyfish need wide open space and fresh air. Easy, boy. What are you doing with that? Something that should have been done a long time ago. No! The squeaky bowl.
bolt on this door was driving me crazy. <sighs> and now I'm gonna set these jellyfish free. <laughs> well, you can't. The door is voice activated and it will only open if I say open. <laughs> <laughs> what? Blasted exercise craze! Goodbye, friends! I'm taking jelly off the menu. He really got burned on that deal! Ah! I, uh, excellently got some of your mail. You read Big Brain Magazine? Yes, I'm an inventor. <laughs> A lot of smart stuff happening in this brain. Jump, jump! Ow! No way! I'm an inventor, too. I work at Cybertech. Cybertech? The most impressive technology company in the world? That must mean... you're super smart. Who's smart girl? Smart girl, smart girl, she's so smart. I love you. What? Uh, I said, um, I also work at a big tech company. What? No, you don't! You work at a junkie store that sells technology! Cool! I love seeing other tech companies. Could I come visit? Say no! She'll find out you're lying! What are you gonna do, turn your store into a tech company? Absolutely. Uh, you can come by, um, two years from now? <laughs> How about today at noon? <laughs> How about today at 10? What are you doing?! Relax, paper. This is gonna work. Just practice your intro. Hey, pencil. <clears throat> Hi, pencil. Pencil, I lied to you about my workplace to impress you. I'm a fraud! No, the first two were way better. You work at a place called Best Tech Company? And I run the whole thing. Hey! I don't pay you to talk to girls. I pay you to untangle the big box of wires we keep in the back. <laughs> That's a uh, tech talk. I have a very big brain. Can I come inside? No, uh, you can't, because we're working on a top secret device that will, uh, solve world hunger. Makes food. Unlimited food. So, you work at a place called Best Tech Company, and I can't come inside because you're working on a secret device that makes food. Unlimited food. It's top secret, but yes. Paper, it seems like you're lying. I mean, there's no evidence to support anything you just... Is that the President of the United States? Good, you're here, because we have an emergency. A race of vicious aliens is threatening the planet, and I need a brilliant mind to solve this problem. So you came to me? Of course. The smartest people work at tech companies. So I searched online for best tech company and your business was the first result, which means you must be the smartest person alive. The sign is hammered on, right? The fate of the world is in your hands. Are you the man for the job? No! Absolutely. Why didn't I think of this before? If Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy can build crabs up, they can tear him down, too! <laughs> Ding dong! Hello, boys! What? 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 I'm down here, fellas! Who are you? Oh, Professor Plankton, door-to-door -door salesman. My card. Professor Plankton's personal products? Say, you two look like a couple of ladies' men, am I right? <laughs> I knew it! Just look at that heroic chin! <laughs> Those chiseled features! <laughs> that bra! But what's this? Dandruff? I've got dandruff? You sure do! See? Oh, my! <laughs> Ew! A couple of studs like you can't go around like this. Lucky for you, Dr. Plankton's come prepared with Plankton's Dandruff Control Shampoo. A little of this stuff and the ladies will be breaking down your door. 
Sign us up, Professor. Professor. Wise decision, gentlemen. <laughs> hey, what do we have here? You fellas look a little peaked. Hmm, this shouldn't be. I wonder. Say, this isn't Professor Plankton's dandruff control shampoo. It's Professor Plankton's mind control shampoo. <laughs> With conditioner, time to prepare for your next roll, fellas, as my zombies. <laughs> Mermaid Man, what is your opinion of the Krabby Patty? Oh, this is too easy. Now just tell everyone that... I, Mermaid Man, think that Krabby Patties are, uh... uh... What? They're terrible! You hate Krabby Patties! I'm late for Krabby Patties? Barnacle Boy! We're late for... Oh, for crying out loud! Tell them you hate Krabby Patties! Scissors, don't pretend like it's Rock's birthday again. It's wrong. Peeing in the shower was once seen as wrong. It still is. And your cake scheme is not a team decision. Don't go rogue. Right, Rock? I'm with paper. I don't want to get in trouble. Uh, although I do love cake, and I would like someone to sing happy birthday, <laughs> that song's a banger. Guys, it's fine. Besides, no one ever checks if it's your birthday. Excuse me, my roommate is turning, uh... Some age today. Could we get a slice of your finest free cake? Sure thing. <laughs> Can I see some ID? The birthday police are coming! We can hide out in Canada with my friend Dirtbag Joel. Don't let the nickname fool you. He's actually a terrible guy. Also, we'll have to change our names. Should I be Brock? No, that's too close to Rock. Ron? Oh, uh, how about Brock? Oh, shoot! Would you relax? The waitress just asked for ID. Then you two flipped the table and ran away. No one is coming for you. And there's no such thing as the birthday police. <gasps> Freeze! Birthday police. <laughs> You're all going to birthday jail. And it's worse than regular jail. How? They don't celebrate your birthday. They celebrate your birthday in regular jail? <laughs> oh, I'm guilty! I didn't stop it! These are your birthday rights. You have the right to one wish. Ooh! But only on your birthday. <laughs> I'm sorry, birthday police? Is this really that serious of an offense? You think lying about your birthday is a victimless crime? My mother owned a bakery, and she'd give away free cookies if it was your birthday. But punks like you took advantage of it, and she lost six, sometimes seven dollars a month! That doesn't seem like that much. It adds up. You boys are going away for a long time. Tell them how many years. <gasps> go, go, go! Hey, stop! I don't know why we have these. I'll never get that formula with that pest crabs popping in and out like that. I've got it. I've been saving this for a rainy day. It looks like an ordinary penny. Because it is an ordinary penny. That fool Krabs is too greedy to ignore you, my little pretty. <laughs> that sound, it sounds like the pitter-patter of money. <laughs> hey! Where are you going, beautiful? Mr. Krabs, what? Stop! Please! Wait! Nothing stands between me and that secret formula now. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Ouch. Scrub it up, Dub. I love to rub. Hey, Mr. Krabs, just doing a little scrubbing. Hello, SpongeBob. It is me, Mr. Krabs. In the flesh. Standing right in front of you. With no one else around. I can see that, Mr. Krabs. I thought we might discuss the Krabby Patty secret formula. Isn't that a microphone? What? 
Why, yes it is. I must get this shirt cleaned. All right, now tell me the secret formula. But sir, we haven't done the secret handshake yet. Oh yes, here, let's shake. Ah, we don't shake with our hands, remember? Uh, right, why don't you start? We stand on one foot, balance a glass of chocolate milk on our heads, and sing the Bikini Bottom National Anthem. A oh, bikini, bikini bottom, bottom, we pledge our hearts to you, as faithful, as deep, as true, as blue. Bikini, bikini Bottom, we love you. Formula time? Almost. Six and a half hours later. <laughs> <laughs> Yum, yum. This spaghetti sure is good. Belch. Meatball, meatball, spaghetti underneath. Ravioli, ravioli, great barrier reef. Okay, now let's hear that formula. Sorry, no can do, Mr. Krabs. What? But we did everything you said. I followed all the rules. I even ate 105 black licorice jelly beans through a straw. Now why can't you tell me the formula? It's your rule. Never speak the formula. You told me to keep it in this bottle. This is it, Plankton. Gently now. Gasp. How could you do this, SpongeBob? Giving me secret formula to this imposter! Don't listen to him, SpongeBob. Remember, ravioli, ravioli, give me the formuoli. SpongeBob, no! Don't listen to him! I'm the real Mr. Krabs! Don't listen to him. He's obviously a robot. Well, if I was a robot, which I'm not, at least I'm well put together, not some rusted out steam driven pile of junk. Who are you calling steam driven? <laughs> Nobody moves! Nobody gets hurt! Tartar sauce! Take it easy with the thing, son! Ah! I'll do the talking around here. I think I'll just ask you two a couple of questions. Questions only the real Mr. Krabs can answer. Okay, then. First question. What time does the Krusty Krab open? 9.30 a.m. Right! That's one strike, Mr. Fake. But... Running this quiz show, I'll ask the questions. If there's gonna be any butts, they're gonna be from me. Okay. Question number two: How much does a Krabby Patty cost? Two ninety nine. On Wednesday. Ninety nine cents. Right again. You're starting to look pretty phony right about now. I'd be nervous if I were you. Now only the really real Mr. Krabs could answer this. If we're discussing the secret formula on the third Wednesday in January and it's not raining outside, after we gargle with vanilla pudding, what do we do? That's an easy one. You just, just, let's see, if it's, uh, if it's January with, with vanilla pudding, you, uh, pass? Oh, wait! SpongeBob! Give me another chance! So long, imitation crabs! Bye-bye! I knew it was you all along, Mr. Krabs. Here you go. Thank you, Sponge Doo. Uh, Don't forget your lucky penny. This must be your lucky day. The self-destruct coin slot has been activated. Ten seconds till detonation. Coin-operated self-destruct. Not one of my better ideas. Hold on. Evil Robot Corp? Rock, I think you're trying to work for evil robots that want to destroy everyone and take over the world. <laughs> no! Everyone there is so nice! There's no way that's true. Evil Robot Corp, we want to destroy everyone and take over the world. Scissors, we gotta go down there and make sure Rock's not in danger. And what's your genius plan to sneak in? Make the place explode? What's yours? Make the... You're not even smart enough to think of a comeback! Okay, what's your plan? Interview task 472. Create a coffee mug. Give me, like, two weeks. A 
Okay, we need to figure out if this place really is evil. Just look for subtle clues. What did you do this weekend? Evil robot things. You. Evil robot things. And you, Bob? Oh, I had a great time with Claire down at the Cape. Oh, I am not feeding it at work. Well, I don't think this place is good. Scissors, we have to find Rock and get him out of here. Hey, evil robots, you're late for the evil meeting. The agenda for today, as it is every day, new ways to be evil. Also, someone has been stealing my lunch out of the fridge. Here we go. I have an evil idea. Let us launch missiles at noon. Very good. Quite evil. Whatever gets us home. We gotta get out of here. One sec. How about we launch missiles at 11.50? Get to the evil quicker. Who are you? A genius? This robot is clearly the smartest in the room. Great right. right. idea, guys. Oh, yeah. He is plan. so smart. Okay. Now we can go. <laughs> Wait a second, hold on. I have much smarter ideas than that guy. Great, let's hear one. Um, uh... Error, error, beep, beep. Oh, I hate when that happens. So unless anyone has any smarter ideas than Scissor's robot, at 11.50, we will destroy one shed. Uh, uh, uh why not destroy the whole city? Very mm -hmm. smart. Uh -huh. Or the whole state. Thinking ah, outside that the box. way better. Or the whole world. The whole world. The whole world. This is why I always say no bad ideas. <laughs> Who's smarter now? Three, two, one. Oh, wait, I just realized that's bad. All right, Patrick, got to get started painting this wall with the permanent paint that we aren't allowed to get on anything but the wall. Well, here we go. One hour later. Just a few more seconds of mental preparation and I'll be painting this wall. Two hours later. I'm getting to the painting. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. No problem. Here I go. And without getting a drop of paint on anything but the flapping flotsam, what's that? We're dead, Patrick. Do you know what that is? Hmm. It's a dollar. I win. That's not just a dollar. It's Mr. Krabs' first dollar, his most prized possession, and we got paint on it. I think you are overreacting, SpongeBob. I don't see any pain. Okay, this isn't a problem. Maybe I can just wipe it off. <laughs> there, I think I got it. <laughs> no! Oh, now I see it. This is not good, Patrick. This is not good. Mr. Krabs is going to be home soon. And when he sees what we did to his first dollar... <laughs> Wait, SpongeBob, all we gotta do is wash the paint off and Krabs will never know! But Mr. Krabs said... Forget what Mr. Krabs said! Every paint comes off with something! Did it work? Nope. Did it work? Nope. No! Did it work? 
Nothing working! Wait, SpongeBob! We're not cavemen! We have technology! It didn't work. This is all Mr. Krabs' fault. If he hadn't hung that stupid dollar in the first place, I mean, it's not like it looks any different than a regular dollar. Why hang it? You could just stick any old dollar bill up on the wall. No one would even know the difference. You might as well just reach into my wallet, pull out a dollar, and put it on the wall. And it would Hurry, go... Patrick, take out your wallet. I don't see where you're going with this. Hey, a dollar! Our butts are saved, Patrick. Now all we have to... Patrick, no! Want a bite? Okay, okay, we still got time. Don't panic, SpongeBob. Panic is the enemy. You are strong. Through your strength, you shall overcome. You're on your own, pal. <laughs> Hurry, Patrick. Put Mr. Krabs' dollar back on the wall. I've got an idea. La, 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 la. What the? We're all done, sir. Everything looks great. Yeah, you don't have to look around. We already did that for you. You both look like you got a dirty little secret. Ha! I'm kidding. Let's see how you did. Ooh, not bad, boys. Not bad. A nice even coat. High gloss. No bubbles. Ah, oh, yeah, looks great, Mr. Krabs. You'll just be going. Flippin' fish puzzles! Look what you did! Oh, Mr. Krabs, I'm so sorry. Don't debunk don't me. Don't debunk me. Don't me. Sorry? You dusted all my knickknacks. That was really nice. Great Barrier Reef! What's this? That's not our fault, We're Mr. Krabs. It's an accident, like accident, 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 accident. Oh, and I suppose the floor molding just painted itself on its own. That's what I call craftsmanship. Criminy Jim Jim! You messed up my dollar! Rama! All the dolls in this dollar Rama were perfectly aligned! And you boys thought I wouldn't notice! Oh well, I guess no harm done. All right, boys, you're free to go. Ow! That's funny. I don't remember a stack of paintings jutting from the wall where my first dollar used to be. In fact, I don't remember this painting at all. This one, or 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 this one. Hi, Mr. Krabs. SpongeBob, what are you doing? Oh, you know, just hanging around. Boo! Get down onto the floor, boy. All right, now you're just being silly. No, 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 Mr. Krabs, no! Don't look at the trick! Did you two get paint all over me first, Dollar? We're I'm so sorry, Mr. Sorry. Krabs. And then did you draw on it with crayon? Oh, I thought, you know, maybe he'd buy it. All right, boys! You know what I've got to do now? You mean our butts? Can I use mine one last time? There we go, good as new. Yeah, I lied. This paint actually comes off with saliva. <laughs> oh, I get it, Mr. Krabs. You told us the paint was permanent, so me and Patrick would be more careful and not get paint on anything. Nah, I just like to mess with you. <laughs> I really gotta learn to say it, not spray it. 